So we're here at Club Magnolia on our vlog series, right down the street from Augusta National. Got a nice little putting green, and these are four evaluations to have when acquiring a note for a capital investor. One, the top one is what is the role of creditworthiness and collateral in evaluating potential real estate investment? And creditworthiness has a factor, obviously, with the strength of repayment for the end user, as well as giving you a evaluation of the investment grade of that note. Obviously, you're wanting higher credit scores, but depending on market demand of housing and specific area, those can be a factor when evaluating an acquisition on a real estate note. The second item are what is the differences in performing and non-performing and the inherent complications that come with one or the other. And the major difference, you know, is in the name itself. The performing note is outperforming in the market and has an established rate of return associated with that payment. Non-performing, you may need to enact a lawsuit or get in contact with the buyer in order to get that note re-performing which comes with its complications of hiring attorneys as well as if the buyer and the current owner is unwilling to work with the client you know that's a challenge trying to work with somebody that's unhappy you can possibly lower their payments, you know, in that negotiation, but that comes with a loss of cash flow as well as, you know, speculation on what your return's gonna be. There may be equity in the house, but those are a couple factors. It's great to have an exit strategy, obviously, so that's another factor when evaluating a potential acquisition. It's the same. I'm Hispanic, I'm, I'm not Timo, I'm not Mexican. As you're wanting to have an exit strategy, go ahead. I just spent the 807 because you're not part of it. Well, it's just too many years old. Like, oh, I already have to. My exit strategies are either hypothecating a note, which means sledging it as a collateral asset in order to garnish private capital. Situation that or you can also find someone to buy that note outright, pay base rate, or discount the note if you're really trying to get out of the asset. You hear me, Mike? Yeah. In fact, we're so sorry. We didn't have there's multiple national conferences that I've attended, Paper Source in Las Vegas, Diversified Mortgage Expo in Nashville, Tennessee, the Dallas Note Expo. Those are places where you can exit your note upon acquisition after establishing whether it's a mature, uh, not mature, but uh, seasoned note. You know, if it shows pay history and things of that nature. The last, you know, item when acquiring a note is in what ways an investor can diversify their portfolio with a real estate note. What's great about what we provide is the notes are lower acquisitions than traditional real estate notes, and that's manufactured home notes. Mobile home notes provide a capital investor the opportunity to diversify the same acquisition they may make in residential real estate across multiple more affordable notes. So that's spreading your risk and diversifying your portfolio within multiple transactions opposed to putting your eggs in one basket on a real estate note acquisition. Average notes are anywhere from 50 to 100,000. You could buy like three or four notes that are qualified, consummated, and quality with mobile mailbox money. So we're here at Club Magnolia down the street from Augusta National. That's mobile mailbox money. You get the other one down the one that very thousand. Like your others. We're just waiting for the way to clear here at the second. Yeah, I thought all day.